Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Naya Slivers. And we're up against Matt Tussaud 95. I don't know how you say it, but we won the die roll. And we have an unkeepable hand. That's lovely. Great start. Great start. We have a much keepable keepable hand here. That's very nice. Uh, I think I'm just going to dump the Jemmy. Uh, not the gem hide, sorry. The Viverlin. Don't like doing it, but... Um, I think it makes sense. We go Thrive and Grove. We just start playing our lords out. So, let's do it like that. Uh, Thrive and Grove. Calling white. It's going to be more important currently than red. We can get into our red later. And we'll just lord it up and look for that third land for lead the Stampede. Seems reasonable to me. Versus mine. Tron. Here we go. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Got the TikTok song stuck in my head right now. All right, so Sidewinder, that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and play down our Lords and start beefing Tron as hard as possible. That is the game plan. We'll play Sidewinder when we need to. They're not going to throw down creatures right away unless they have old natural Tron. Uh, looks like they might be pulling into an Ancient Stirrings. Ancient Stirrings, yes, no. Ancient Stirrings, all right. Let's see what they reveal. A Jungle Hollow, okay. Okay, interesting, Jungle Hollow. Hmm, okay. I don't know how many decks run a Jungle Hollow, but seems kinda not great. Heart Sliver, pretty sweet. Love to get that down eventually. But again, it's not priority. Priority right now is getting our lords to a bunch of four fours that can just swing in for nasty damage every turn. I mean, we're hitting them for eight next turn. They're going to 10. And they're tapping out. So they're definitely going to 10. It doesn't mean they can't do anything. Oh, they can chump block. That sucks. That's a sucky chump blocker. An annoying chump blocker. Now. Let's see. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right on time. I like that. They're not going to be happy when this Heart Sliver comes down next turn. They may start holding up some Fog Effects. Some Moments Piece, potentially now. Um, but they're far away from Tron. They're stuck on a double Urza's Mine right now. I'm looking for a Crop Rotation pull. They haven't done it yet. No Crop Rotation yet. They've got the lands to sack. They definitely don't need this Forest, so they can sack that whenever. They're just going to keep drawing, though. Taking their time. They're like, I'm not worried about it. I'm Tron. I can do whatever I want. At least it's not Flicker Tron from what we've seen what we're seeing here. It's Mono Green. Which is its own bit concerning. But I like it way better. It's way nicer on us. As soon as we see that splash of blue, it's like <laughs> we're done. Can't do much about ghostly flicker. It is rough. But mono green or Whatever this is, some Galgari Tron, looks like. They're pulling into some black. Which makes me think maybe they're trying to splash all the colors, but we haven't seen any others yet. Sacrifice Universal Solvent, destroy target permanent. You're going to be a little late on that. You're not going to like me when I drop this heart sliver down and swing in for lethal. You ready for this? We'll start here. And we'll go here. They could be holding up the moment's piece now, who knows. But this flanking is sealing it up if they don't have it. Yeah, there it is. All right, they're going to destroy something. All right, fair enough, fair enough. We're still swinging in for 12. Still not great, <laughs> but they can survive a few turns. Good play, good play. So they're playing Golgari Tron. How interesting. Weird, huh? Playing with removal. I wonder what entices them to do that. There's the crop rotation. It's about dying time. So now... Oh, they pulled into Urza's Tower, which I missed last turn. Alright, Tron Online, four cards in hand. Don't do me dirty. If they got a Marauder, they can gain some life, but they're just going to be chump blocking with him at this point. They could... Do they have enough to pop this? They probably do, right? Yeah, they have enough to pop the solvent so they can kill one of our creatures, but it's still not great for them. No Marauder, otherwise they would have played that first for sure. 
for sure. And they searched and they couldn't find. Beautiful. All right, Golgari Tron. What do we want to do against you? Gleeful Sabotage. Seems reasonable. We don't need Hunter. Don't know what we're up against, though. Like, we I don't think we need Spinneret. Flaring Pain, yes. Blade Back, yes. Get rid of Striking. Get rid of a Sidewinder, too. Heart Sliver is pretty nice. Do we need both these Gleefuls, or do we just want to bank on Blade Back Flaring Pain? I kind of want to keep it in because it showed us that removal, that solvent one. Kind of plated. I guess Sidewinder is better than a plated, so we just cut Sentinel plated, two plated, two Sentinel. Swift response can take care of an Ulamog. But is it necessary? Do we just want to try to race as much as possible? Which means... Maybe we just cut Sentinel altogether, bring back in one of our plated. Make sure our curve is low. Let's try like that. I know Sentinel is useful, but uh, if we're just trying to swing out, be fast anyways. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a mistake, but we can't keep this hand. It sucks. It's beautiful otherwise. Mulligan. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Not against Tron, man. Not against Tron. Gosh dang. We have to cut the world here, don't we? I don't want to cut any of this crap. Flaring pain... Could cut the predatory and just try to sink in with poisonous and keep a lead the stampede. Hmm, that's a weird play, huh? It does have a. Mm, it's about the same amount of clock time. I don't know. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like this. We're gonna planes for a forest. We are on the draw. Try to pull into a third land. Player played at Viverland. They can stay alive for a little bit. As long as they don't pop off. If they pop off, what it is what it is, you know. Winding way is beautiful. Okay. Pass the turn. That's not great, though. I don't like them holding up lack mana already. Because they're just going to kill my Viverland right away. Draw another forest. I mean, that's fine. Let's see if they go for a kill. They got four cards in hand. Let's see if they're scared of a Viverlin. Not yet. They're not scared yet. Interesting. Oh, so do you have it? Oh. Oh. That's gnarly. Let's winding way first. See what we can dig for. Creature. Alright, I'll take that. I mean, they're gonna kill our poisonous, right? They can't let it survive now. <laughs> Double poisonous is scary. Yeah, alright. Here it comes. Yep. That's alright. We got a Lord and a Sidewinder coming down next turn. That's applying some good pressure. And we still have the poisonous going. Traded one for one on that. Five cards in hand, Cracking Chromatic Star for green, Ancient Stirrings, or Crop Rotation, Ancient Stirrings. I was going to say, if they Crop Rotation, that's uh, that wouldn't look good for them if that's what they were doing. So they got an Urza's Mine. Go ahead and play that sucker out, bro. Oh, they played Bajukabog. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. All right, so they still have a, a Mine in their hand that I preemptively clicked away. Planes, all right. Let's get creatures down. We got a refill coming up. Feeling good. Feeling good. 
Lecker, schön. Two more poisonous on the board. Putting them down to 15. Passing the turn. Not at Tron yet. And they're holding up removal for days. That's actually not bad at all. Let's go digging, shall we? Sinew, Sinew, Sidewinder. I like that. We lost a Flaring Plane and a Gleeful. Um, each card you clicked... Oh, they just... Okay. Cool. That works for me. Alright, so they obviously didn't have anything. Uh, we would have thrown down a Sinew. Maybe they kill a Lord. Maybe they kill our Poisonous. But then we're still swinging in for a good amount of damage. And we just, we're just drawn into gas, so... Cool, after some gnarly mulligans again, we've been getting those a lot. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you like any Sliver's gameplay. We do it three times a week, sometimes even four if I play Pioneer. Uh, so make sure to subscribe and support the channel, and we will see you guys in the next video.